Oh, this is the wrong lens. I put the old lens on to take photos, um, and you can tell because I'm very close to the camera. And I'm far from the camera. Like, this is how I would normally stand from the camera distance away, but it's like, it looks like it's zoomed. I just ended up taking some pictures and filming some TikToks. I've been having so much fun doing the TikToks like they are me. So like right now I'm currently doing the Bang with the Bad Boy TikToks. Like, oh, I just met up with the bad boy, but like me talking. I've been having a lot of fun with that. And people who comment like, oh my gosh, this is so fun. Like I will like uh, use their reply to make a new video. I've never done that before. It's so fun. So if you see those videos, like comment on it and I'll reply with the next in the thread, you know, so fun. This lens is freaking me out, hang on. Okay, much better. Yay, love this for me, it's so much better. See, now I'm like even closer to the camera, but I look different. So now I'm gonna add captions to those TikToks and then edit the photos I took. Um, I took some for my birthday, but I don't know how they turned out. I don't really like taking photos with my hair straight because it makes my face look a little funky and it's not as like visually cute as the curls but this is a content creation day love that for me i haven't done one in a while so it feels good to have something done productive today it's 2 15 we're gonna go do those things good morning give me one second i'm so dumb i came downstairs and i did my skincare and then i'm like okay i'm gonna go shower and wash my hair i'm like i just did my skincare I can't shower. I haven't talked to you guys in actually a few days. Um, so let's catch up. My birthday was two days ago. Also, random side note, I picked up my, my uh, coaster yesterday. I probably picked it up like this much, a tiny bit, and I dropped it. And it came apart. The wood is separated from the marble. So now I gotta find some super glue and super glue it back together. I don't know. Anyway, good. A little hot, but good. I finished Cheer Up last night, the K-drama. I was a little worried because people said that the first few episodes are really good, but then it gets like dumb with the murder mystery. But honestly, I think this was like one of the one K-dramas where the mystery element in a rom romantic comedy or whatever kind of worked. I thought it was so interesting and I really enjoyed it. I do think there should have been more cheer elements involved in the later episodes. We only see them like train a little bit and we see them like hang out at a bar like a lot of times so it just felt like weird like hey where's the cheer aspect it was good and then our blooming youth ends today today the last episode airs so when that comes out i'm gonna watch it i think i'll like it i don't know for cheer up i probably rated it four hearts no i did rate it four hearts for our blooming youth i'm going back and forth between four and three I probably would have made, rated it a four if I was watching, if I had watched it like not live airing, but on Instagram, I've been rating them like with the hearts. Why was I not rating it with the finger hearts? It was a missed opportunity. But uh, I was writing last night, editing last night. Um, I got through a pretty big scene. <laughs> weird to like do my face my skincare down here but I literally don't do it if it's in any other room like if it's in my bathroom if it's in my guest bathroom I don't do it I don't remember to and then when I remember I don't feel like doing it so it's on the kitchen table <laughs> and I'm no expert with skincare and you're probably supposed to go up on your skin I don't know I'm also making coffee at the same time it's 8.30. I don't feel good. 
I woke up at 7.30 and just laid there because I didn't feel good enough to get up and go get medicine. And so I laid there for an hour. It is 40 something degrees today. <sighs> Coffee's done. So the game plan is to edit today. I was gonna go to Barnes & Noble, but I don't feel nearly good enough for that. Isn't it like so funny when you find out that there are authors like near you? I had somebody message me a few days ago asking me to be a part of a signing at their local bar Barnes & Noble and like, oh my gosh, that's like right by me. And so we got to talking and like she knows somebody else from the exact same town I'm in. like. That is so wild to me. I've never in a million years would have thought there'd be other authors in this area. Just because it's just such a small area. I should have because I guess there's several. I'm trying to see if like my thing has stopped recording yet or not. I hate this sunscreen. I usually get like the moisturizer sunscreen combo but my face has been really dry so I wanted to get like a really good moisturizer. I hate this sunscreen because it like... Like, if you rub your skin after it's been applied, it will, like, peel off. Now, it's coffee time. Oh, my also my birthday girl headband. Comes in handy. Oh, uh, I feel so rough. First of all, I wanted to say this is my hair drying weirdly from a shower. Um, I took a shower hours ago. I ended up feeling, because so I woke up feeling sick, and then I ended up uh, taking a shower. And then I felt sick even worse in the shower. So I got out of the shower, put my hair in like a little towel thing, got dressed, laid on my bed, and ended up falling asleep for like three hours. So <sighs> it's been a day so far. I, I Yesterday I had plans to go to Barnes & Noble in the morning. Didn't feel good yesterday. And then today I had plans to go to Barnes & Noble this morning. But that was not going to happen because I also didn't feel good. So... <laughs> It's fine. I'm here. I finished another K-drama last night. It was called yesterday. Not last night, yesterday. More Than Friends. It was pretty good. I worked on my manuscript a little bit yesterday. Um, what did I do? Finished a scene, or I'm just about to finish a scene. Um, and then we're gonna lead into the next chapter where we have the final kind of like, um, exchange between the love interest and the main character and then we have the epilogue to edit i believe i don't believe there's any chapter after theirs so we're already at 104,000 words for this book it's a big book um for reference rebellion of the bad boys 109,000. so we're gonna beat that because i still have scenes to go back and edit not edit right from scratch so that's gonna add to the word count but i think mostly we're in good shape when I don't, when I get my little flare-ups, I'm not feeling good, I, I am down for at least a little while, so um, my medicine's finally kicked in, and I think I'm gonna try and edit a little bit more this morning. I kind of wanted to save it for tonight, but I'm gonna try and edit a little bit more this morning. It's not morning, it's literally one o'clock, like I just said, this afternoon. I'll try and get some time-lapse clips for you, because I know I've been struggling with those. <laughs> Okay, hi. It's 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 late. It's 4:39. I haven't moved from the spot at all since I sat down. So when you saw me writing earlier, have not moved. So it's been like three hours. Each time I watch reminds me uh, 10 minutes before the top of the hour if I haven't walked. And so each time I watch vibrated, I'm like, it's been another hour. Weird. Um. But we finished this read through and like edit. I, I say I call them read throughs, but like it's a read through edit, so it's a edit through. I suppose I should say we finished it, and it's at one hundred and ten thousand words, one hundred and ten thousand one hundred and fifty six. So a lot of words. I am still super happy with it. I'm super happy. What was? Dreaming about the boy next door. I'm pretty sure Bang with the Bad Boy was my biggest. Yes, the Bang with the Bad Boy was my biggest at 108,000. That's not even including Landon's point of view. This book's so long. I don't know how they're getting longer and longer. I don't get it. I, I seriously don't get it. It's a good thing I'm not a traditionally published author because like I think traditionally published young adult romance novels are like typically like 70k 
and I'm 40k over that. So, <laughs> so it's a good thing I'm not traditionally published. <laughs> Nobody would ever take it up. But anyway, um, yeah, so that feels so good. I am gonna stop for the day since I worked for a long time and I want to kind of like go into the next read through with some fresher eyes. Even though it's been a very long time since I've been at the beginning of this document, so I probably will just take the day to take it off. Um, I'm going to my parents now. I'm gonna have some dinner over there and uh, we were, and yeah. They were gonna come here, but I'm just gonna go over there and see my puppies. So good. Celebration time. Yay! <laughs> I meant to film me pouring the creamer in. I forgot. Um, but it's eight o'clock and I feel like I want to watch something, but like I'm not watching a K-drama right now. So I have a ton on my watch list though. Like I have happiness. I have a lot, but like it's become such a habit to watch TV while I drink my coffee now. So like, I feel like that's what I want to do while drinking this. <laughs> Very good. I also got a lot of questions about where I watch my K-dramas. So I started out on Netflix and watched the ones that are on Netflix. Um, but recent, no, what am I talking about? Definitely not recently. It's been a long time. Um, I started to watch them on Viki. So I go back and forth. I watch the Netflix ones when there's ones that interest me. But Viki has a lot of them. And plus I watch the ones on Netflix and they're like Netflix only, like crashing on you and it's okay not to be okay or Netflix only. At least recently now, I've been mostly watching them on Viki. I can't remember the last time I watched one on Netflix. Maybe it was Flower of Evil. But I want to watch watch um Crash Crash Course and Romance is one that I want to watch. But oh, it's very nice. It has tons of dramas. Not even just uh, K dramas. It has C dramas, J dramas, um, a bunch of stuff. We're zoomed. <laughs> also, not me realizing that uh, today's Thursday. I have a video that's supposed to be going out tomorrow, but I feel like I have zero content. Although, now that I'm thinking about it and like talking about it, I think I do have enough, ooh, enough for a vlog because I feel like there was content that I cut from last week's, for Monday's video. So, this might be a day in the life vlog. <laughs> and if it is, I hope you're enjoying it so far. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I just got back from, ooh, this looks like a little scandalous. Sarah May, this is not that kind of channel. I just got, swear to gosh, every time the camera cuts me off because it runs out of space. <laughs> um, I just got back from running errands with my parents. I have client work to do tonight. I also, I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, but I need to clean. And I need to do my laundry and I need to wash my sheets and I need to clean my bathroom. I've just been in such a routine of not, of just like doing life and not doing those things that I forgot that I need to do those things. And then like my laundry hamper is full. I have clean clothes on my bedroom floor. <laughs> so I, I think I've talked about this before, but I'm the kind of person that if I don't like what I'm wearing, I'll take it off. I'll leave it on the floor. I'll put it back on the hanger because like, why would I do something that makes sense? So, uh, I don't know if tomorrow's gonna be a cleaning day or, no, tomorrow's my 10K day for Patreon. I probably won't film it though. Um, I don't know if you guys like cleaning vlogs. Uh, they're one of my least performing videos, so they do the best for ad revenue. <laughs> but it, I do obviously move faster if I am not setting the camera up for all of the angles. So, I probably won't film it but that's probably the game plan. It just needs a little refresh. I'll vacuum tomorrow, mop tomorrow. Sounds like a good game plan. But for now, I'm going to have some dinner. I don't know what I'm gonna have yet. I have some leftover salmon that I can warm up and then we will get back to client work. Short, short project. Probably have like 60 pages total to read. So love it, love it. Let's get to, let's get to work. Let's make a vlog worthwhile for you guys. So I'm sitting here editing this video and like the amount of times I talk about K-dramas is embarrassing in a way because I feel like that's like my own, the only thing I talk about, um, especially in this vlog. Like 
what's going on, Sarah? Why is this the only thing you're talking about? Um, I think it's kind of clear that my life right now is literally just writing and watching K-dramas. Um, going forward, I will be a lot more mindful of how much I talk about it um, because I feel like I have just been talking about K-dramas this entire video. And it, this video has been spanning over the course of the past like week and a half ish. I think the first day was the 16th around there. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, am I about to talk about K-dramas again? Yes, I am. So um, for those who are not interested in the K-drama talks, uh, I apologize. I will be more mindful about how often I talk about it in the future. Um, so just bear with me for the rest of this vlog and I still hope you're enjoying it. Uh, the daily vlogs are hard because like, the lifestyle vlogs are hard because this is my life. It's very monotonous. It's very like routine. I don't do much else but write client work and watch TV. So <laughs> we're going to try and make our life a little bit more exciting for these vlogs next time, but I hope you still enjoy it. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I can't remember if I talked about it or not, but I'm currently watching The Imitation on Vicky, and I wanted to like it so bad, and I think I would love it. Ooh, 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 we're spilling onto my white blanket and my white carpet. I don't know. I think I would like it if it was a different main female lead. I love her. She's so cute. She's so, like, in glory, she was great. But for this role, she just looks too childlike next to the main lead, the, the guy lead. Like, I think I would, I would have liked it a lot more if it was somebody who looked more, like, K-pop style. Because if I'm not wrong, I don't think she is a K-pop idol. I think she is just an actress. They're the same age, but, like, I don't know. She just looks so little. And it's enough that it's like, when they kiss, I'm just like, ooh. Ooh. The boy is here. Also, I was looking at Reddit, and so apparently she is one of the only casts that isn't an idol. Which, it makes sense because they, somebody on Reddit pointed out how she looks like she stands out from everybody else. Like, which, like, she's not styled right. Her hair doesn't have the idol look. And I can totally see it. So that is weird. Why would you have everybody else be an idol but her? The main lead. Why would you not cast an idol as the main female lead? <laughs> I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually dying right now. I went to the bathroom and I was washing my <laughs> my hands. And I looked at the mirror. <laughs> Where did my wing go? <gasps> Look, this one's still there. <laughs> Hasn't been like that this entire time. <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> I have all those clips of me talking, and I have I have only one wing. <laughs> That's so, that's so funny. 